Hey guys, Will Patson here with another Illustrator CC 2014 release tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to fit type around objects. Now you've probably seen some of my work, I'm just going to grab some out so you can so, uh, so I can show you. Um, basically some of my work uh, in these past couple days have been around stuff like this, if I can get it up. So this is what I've been doing, I've been putting uh, text uh, within the sort of um thingamajigs what are they called objects so i've been putting text in here now some of them i've drawn some of them i've uh, actually done like by hand or some of them i've actually done on uh, the computer uh, some of this text i've drawn out and then put it in as uh, so what i've done here and yeah so basically this is what i'm going to be showing you next so here we have a blank screen so make sure you have a black screen and I'm going to be using a cool font which you guys will love and it's called Butcher and now I've got a link to this font in the description now it is twenty dollars but you should pay for fonts if they're good and this is a very good font and it comes with a load of added extras so I'm going to go ahead and find probably this cow here I'm going to copy that cow and then I'm going to go to my next document and paste it in Okay, now I'm going to scale this up and make sure it's black because it was grey. Okay, that sounds good. I'm going to center this with the artboard. And then I'm going to highlight it and press Command 2, which will lock the layer so I can't play around with it. Okay, I'm going to press T. And then I want you want to make sure you have your character panel up. So press Command T. And then you've got to choose Butcher and Block. And that's the font that we're going to be using. Now, the description is in uh, the link below if you want this font. And it is really cool. And you'll like it. So I'm going to write out cow. And the idea of this is it looks hand drawn. And it looks really nice. Like so. Okay so what I'm going to do here is I've just written out text. And I'm going to put it in this headspace here a little bit. So I'm going to do this by zooming in a bit. And then I'm going to press E and rotate this around. Scale it down a bit more. Holding shift. Amazing that looks good. Okay, so the next thing I want to do with this is I want to go and create a, a distort and it's called the envelope distort and now this is what will allow you to have text placed in an object by manipulating it. So we're going to highlight the text without outlining it and we're going to go to object, envelope distort, make with warp and you'll see you have your warp options here. Now I'm going to choose probably bulge, uh, no probably not bulge actually. Actually, hang on a sec. I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is vertical. Um, making sure it's vertical is uh, really helpful when designing um, because it helps with the envelope distort. So I'm going to go to object, envelope distort again, make with warp. I'm going to bulge. Maybe not. Maybe if we just had it at z zero. Okay, we'll have it at zero. Make sure you bend it zero no matter what you are. Press OK. Now you'll see you have. The sort of mesh around it. Now you need to press A to get your direct selection tool and within this you can highlight or double click on the uh, anchor point and move it around. Now this is what I do and this is how I created the other poses uh, when it was done on a computer. So I'm going to go ahead and press A and go in here. Wait hang on I'm going to go up here like so takes a bit of time to get used to this sort of process because we need to plan out anchor points and make them look nice. And we can sort out the bends after as long as we fill up the space. And make sure it's readable. We'll be okay. Awesome. So this space I want to go ahead and create some curves here. So with this I'm going to create a nice just normal curve. And it might confuse you at the start, but as long as you keep pulling these anchor points, I'm just pressing on an anchor point and curving it to the way it should be. Just so it gets this cool effect going on here. Make sure this is down like so. This curve here is going all over the place, so we need to go ahead and make sure it's a nice sort of curve. Now it has gone a bit wrong there, but it doesn't matter for the purposes of this tutorial. And we're going to go ahead and type in a new text layer, and we're going to go uh, beef. Oops, press uh, beef, capital B for beef. And then we're going to go ahead and make it white. 
I'm going to repeat that process again. So we're going to go to object, envelope to start make with warp, 0% on the bend. Okay. Now we want beef to be sort of this way. So I'm going to transform it this way a bit. Get my direct selection tool out and I'm going to start uh, pushing this into the right places. Like so. And then I'm going to show you how at the end you can make it transparent so you can cut it out of the object and you see that I just highlighted all these anchor points and pressed on my arrow key and went down so if I wanted to select this object you need to select, uh, highlight a specific object make sure this bends working correctly make sure this is down a bit you know give it a nice little differences within what you're doing. Make sure this bends in place. Make sure these bends are in place. And you can go into as much detail as you need to in this. Because there really isn't any limit to it. That's what the good thing is about it. Awesome. So now we have beef there. And that's it basically warped into that. And as you carry on, you can create some cool things. I mean, the cow bit looks absolutely, utterly rubbish. Beef one doesn't look too bad, but I've created a few of these. Uh, like, let your light shine, and um, that's not one of them. But I've created a few of them. Uh, some of them are actually, I don't know if this is hand done. I can't remember which one's hand done. I need to go look in my uh, sketchbook. But this is basically, that's a beef one. And then all you need to do after this is to... Uh, take it away or to cut it out of this uh, cow is you need to highlight both your text options or all of them go and press command shift zero to outline them sorry not that you need to highlight them all go to ob object expand press ok and they've expanded and then what you need to do is press command eight to make them all into a compound path press command alt two to unlock uh, this layer in the background and then we need to highlight all this, making sure the layer and the backgrounds are compound path. Highlight everything and press minus front. And nothing has happened, but it has it has taken away um, this part here, like so. Also, that is good. That is how it's done. And then it gives you other files of it in this file that you can go ahead and uh texturize it in photoshop and you can do this in uh, photoshop as well this is just one way but there is tutorials in the pack but um uh, yeah this is just really cool tutorial that for you guys might want to learn if you're doing some sort of really vintage old style weird typography within animals and stuff like that hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave your comments down in the section below i am looking for someone to collaborate with it on a couple of projects that are going to be like this uh, in the near future so if you're one of them you can hit me up on my emails and also for any inquiries about graphic design or if you've got any inquiries about work or things you want me to do for you then please email me at will at breakdesigns.co.uk and also a new website will be coming soon for myself I am rebranding myself and there'll be a video to complement it on my YouTube channel thank you so much for watching and I'll see see you sorry in the next video